Hello everybody, how are we all doing? This is Northern Hero right here again and today's a fantastic day but I've been feeling really tired as usual so I thought, you know what, it's, it'll be great to do a video for YouTube and earlier this year I did the Gospel of John which I uploaded every chapter um, and I quite enjoyed doing that and it's been on my mind to do another one right and I thought to read another gospel or and I thought right I'm gonna be reading Acts that is the next one that I have chosen to do I haven't started it yet but in the coming weeks I will have started to have read um, to have been reading Acts and um, it's an interesting one I don't think I've, it's also a book that I've never read from A to Z so not only is this going to help me but it's also going to help you people who, who's watching um, I'm going to read a little bit and um, you can have a think about what I have just read the Acts of the Apostles Acts is an is a unique book in the scripture it is really volume 2 of Luke's work and tells the story of the beginnings of the church it begins with the ascension of Jesus records the giving of the Spirit at Pentecost and tells the life of the early church it is not, however, the story of the whole church, or even of all the apostles. It focuses on the beginnings of the church, then on the work of Peter, and finally on the work of Luke. Oh, sorry, and finally the work of Paul. Luke wanted to show how the church spread from Jerusalem all, all, all over Palestine and then to the Gentiles. Luke reports a series of episodes in the life and faith of the early church to show how Christianity rose out of Judaism and has deep roots in the Jewish faith. He shows something of the struggle the disciples felt in moving out in a mission to Gentiles. One of the major themes in the book is the role of the Holy Spirit in guiding and strengthening the church as it spread across the Mediterranean world. Another theme is the message that Christianity is not um, dangerous to the authority or power of the Roman Empire. Luke and Acts may have been written as a legal document in Paul's defence. More than one half of Acts is devoted to the ministry of Paul and his travels to preach the good news. Uh, it's um, a rather large book of the Bible. Uh, let's have a look, see how many chapters. Yeah, there's 28 chapters. So it's not going to be a week thing. It, you know, that might take some time to do. But I will be reading Acts. That's going to be the next step for me to do. 